Hi you guys, so I have you inside of my cupboard because I have a tripod. My husband bought me an iPhone tripod and um, I'm going to use it, but I don't know where it is right now and he's not home. So I just wanted to show you guys really quick my cinnamon and honey facial that I'm doing because um, I am under a lot of stress and when I'm under a lot of stress, I break out and I'm like 35 years old, but I still have acne issues, but I don't break out like, like teenagers do I break out like just little tiny tiny blemishes around my chin and my cheeks and I think I'm gonna have them forever because it's like a hormonal imbalance um, it has a lot to do with stress anyway I don't want to bore you guys with that stuff so um, what I do is I just take some regular honey this one I got it fresh and easy and then I just take a little bit just tiny little bit and then I'm using like just I'm not using anything fancy just the regular little paper bowl because I'm gonna throw it away and then I just use some cinnamon this is ground cinnamon I suppose you could ground your own cinnamon if you wanted to but I don't know that just seems like a lot of work to me so I'm just gonna take a little spoonful like this and it's just a plastic spoon and then I'm just gonna mix the two together until it forms a paste that is rather thick because you don't want this running down your face you want it to kind of sit there and then what I do is I have it sit on my skin and then I hold the bowl like right under my skin like this and then I let it sit there for about 10 minutes and once I feel a little bit um, tingling on my skin then I go ahead and I rinse it off and because you're using ground um, cinnamon it has kind of like a little tiny tiny gritty texture so before you wash it off you want to just scrub your skin um, and it also works as an exfoliator now you want to make sure that before you use this if this is your first time using it that you do test a section of your skin because you could be like slightly allergic to honey or cinnamon or you can be you can be terribly allergic to these two ingredients and I wouldn't want anything to happen to you so just make sure that you just test a little spot maybe just like right back here um, so that in case you do break out in like hives or anything like that it'll be hidden maybe by your hair so and just use a tiny little bit so okay so my concoction is just about done and all I'm going to do is, I'm not going to do anything fancy like, you know, some people get like the little brushes out and stuff. I just use a spoon. So I take the back of the spoon like that. And then I just start to apply it to my skin. Just as if you were making like, you know, spreading jelly on bread. You're just going to spread this on your skin. And this should be enough to spread all across my skin. But I usually just put it like around my jawline because that's where I tend to break out and my cheeks because that's where I've been breaking out lately so basically I'm gonna have a beard on my skin and when my son sees me like this he's like mom you have a beard like dad I'm like yeah only for a little while though and I don't put it like here so anyway so once you're done with this you're just gonna leave it on for 10 minutes I'm checking the time now and just um if you have any redness or swelling on your skin, this is going to help it go down. So I'll let you guys see what my skin looks like once I'm done. Um, you're not going to see a drastic change because it's only been 10 minutes. This is something that you have to do two to three times a week. Um, and I think you can see probably a change after about two weeks. Of course, you have to make sure that you are doing other things to help out. This is only one part of it like you have to make sure that you're exercising that you're drinking water that you're getting enough sleep that you're eating right and that if you have stress that you're finding a way to deal with it so that means meditation walking exercising whatever it is that will get your stress levels back down so I'm gonna do this and then I will come back and I'll talk to you guys once it's been rinsed off here what I'm doing is I'm just going to add a little bit of water just to dilute the mixture slightly and then I'm going to use my fingers to gently exfoliate my skin. Again, be very, very gentle with your skin. You don't need to scrub it really hard, but just 
what you're trying to do is remove the impurities on your skin as well as the dead skin cells that you have that just need to come off. So this is done before you rinse it off completely and once you have your exfoliated then you can go ahead and add a little bit more water and rinse it off. Once you have completely rinsed it off you can go ahead and dry it off and you are going to feel a little bit of tingling on your skin but don't worry about it. Okay, So I just finished um, rinsing it off of my skin making sure that I rinsed like around my hairline as well so I don't have any honey around my hair. Um, I had just gotten out of the shower and then I decided to do it so I should have done it before my shower but I didn't think about it until I was done with my shower so anyway um, my skin right now feels like a little bit it feels like it's burning slightly um, if you're not allergic to cinnamon um, then it doesn't it doesn't hurt it just feels kind of like 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 something minty has been on my face I don't know if you've ever used like Noxzema or any of those types of products, but that's the type of feeling that I have on my skin. Um, I do have some blemish scars, just like this red one that I have right here, and then I have another one up here on my nose. But other than that, the other little tiny ones have kind of gone down just slightly. It really reduced the swelling that was going on on my skin, and I think that I'm ready to go to sleep and um, wake up with uh, fresh skin. So. Good morning you guys. I'm heading out to the gym right now but I wanted to just show you um, how my skin looks this morning and um, some of the swelling like this one right here has gone down the one up here has gone down slightly and all the little ones around my chin um, have definitely gone down a lot. Let's see if it can balance properly. So um, yeah just wanted to show it to you guys. If you have this, these two ingredients at home, it's just ground cinnamon and honey. Just mix um, equal parts together. You make a consistency that's almost like peanut butter, so it doesn't really drip too much. And you're good to go. You have a nice facial. It will really help with like the tiny little bumps on your skin. Um, like I said, do this two to three times a week depending on your skin type and the sensitivity of your skin. I'll put some more links in the bottom so you guys can read more about it but these are just the basics so I hope that you guys enjoyed and if you did then thumbs up the video and I will make more videos like this for you guys bye